Don't forget to check the computer after the break. I need him to finish up those case files. He's taking way too long. Got my call? Let McNulty know I want him to conduct the negotiation with the French. Berlin is my patch. And uh, get a table at the Berghof for tonight. I need to jolly the boys along. You should come too. You think? Oh, I'm sure our German friends wouldn't mind a Fräulein at the table this evening. <laughs> come on, dear. Enough of that. Will Jane be joining us for lunch, David? No. I'm not sharing. <laughs> Better hurry up, man, here. George? Can I talk to you for a second? Sure. At lunch, dear. In private. It won't take long. Can you wait for us? Sure. You're paying. I'll see you downstairs. So, this is not easy. I'm sure you can handle it. What is it? I just wanted to, uh, before we go for lunch with the two of them. Okay. Who is it? It's Tom. Tom's a good kid. With flaws. But that's not even the point. Yeah, I'm listening. It's about you, George. As one of the partners. I know you mean well with your people, but... Covering up for Tom like that. Bribe the DA. With company money. You're endangering everything, George. Not only yourself, but all of us. Us? Or you? The firm. George? The firm can't afford to employ someone like Tom. Someone like Tom? You know what I mean. I thought you two always got along so well. You must talk to the DA. Call it off. And what about Tom? He won't just lose his job, you know, The Company comes first. That's what you always say. That applies to everyone, to Tom. And to you, too. So it's just him or the two of us? Is that what you're saying? Do you really want to see him behind bars? And for what? Just because he's like you? <laughs> he's not like me. I think it's best you don't come to lunch. I told you about the money. Tom did. <laughs> 